Thank you for joining this resource. We're going to take a few moments now and put together all the things that we have gathered from previous information about downloading our software to get started with our Kodak Picture Saver scanners, locating the scan validation tool, and setting our Twain driver settings in order to accomplish high quality, high speed photo scanning. So with our scanner plugged in and turned on, we're going to go to our scan validation tool. Again, we'll select the Twain driver and the Kodak PS50 PS80 scanner. It will make a connection with our scanner and we'll go through real quickly through our settings. The first thing we're going to want to do is make sure that we're saving our images to file as we scan. The next is to use our setup. When we launch the setup function, we will be navigating to the dialog box for the Twain driver. We'll look at our default setting and we'll see that it is set to one-sided back so I'm going to be scanning the emulsion side or the picture side of our photographs as I put them in facing me as I'm scanning and we'll go through quickly our settings and they're at 24 color bit the photograph type glossy paper 600 dpi we're using the superior quality and the JPEG output we're going to automatically straighten and detect the entire document. We're going to remove a few pixels around each border for any uneven cut pictures. In the adjustment section we have set everything to none. In the enhancements we have turned off the whole fill. We are not using edge fill and streak fill. So it's really that simple. There's nothing for us to do other than to select default and say OK. Once we've said OK, the next thing we want to do is we want to select a location to save our photos. We're going to go to the desktop and I've created a scanned photo folder. Here we could even create, if we wanted to, a new folder and call it whatever you like and then we can, we're going to save them into this new folder. In addition, we can put a prefix and we're going to put scan demo on here. and select save. Now they'll be routed immediately to that location with that prefix as we begin to scan. I've loaded a few photos into my scanner at this moment. I can go ahead and scan them all or just scan one page. Once I get started we'll have this opportunity to stop should we need to. I've selected four up viewing for the four picture display and we're going to go ahead and get our scanner scanning. You see the red button comes, we can stop as we go along and the pictures as they begin to uh, be written will be displayed here in this graphical output. I've got all four pictures now scanned and it's been really that simple. We've scanned all of these at 600 dpi, various sizes. You'll notice that I did load them all emulsion side up and the top of the picture heading into the machine first or what we call head down. At this point we're finished with this. We can close our scan validation tool. If we go over to our folder and look there's all our photographs ready to go with the header as well or the prefix. So this is the quick and fast way for you to scan at high quality using your Kodak Picture Saver scanner.